Hello everybody and happy Christmas Eve. It's going to be a wonderful show tonight with an 80s feel. I am delighted to say that I have Errol Kennedy, former from Imagination of course, and also very special favourite of mine, Techno Twins, we've got Bev Sag Sage Kennedy. So it's so wonderful to see you both. Thank you so much for joining me. I think we'll, we, we should sing you a rendition of something very Christmassy, <laughs> but we're going to fling them off. Yes, that's <laughs> right. Oh, no, oh, real. This is the real one. <laughs> Great, Fantastic. honestly, it's just great. Thank you so much for joining me on this, you know, very special Christmassy show. You've got a lovely tree behind you, and Bev, you know, it's, it looks amazing. And Errol, it's just so lovely to see you both. Really, it is. Thank you so much for joining me. And you too, Monica. Such a it's an absolute pleasure. pleasure. It's well, brilliant. guys, we've got a lot to talk about. So, first of all, I want to talk to you about the drum marathon. Now, the drum or drum drum. How did you say it? Drum marathon or drum marathon? Drum marathon. Drum marathon. Drum -a honestly it was so i heard about this now you did this for the nhs so errol this was your brainchild is that right well it's a joint it's a joint thing i mean here's the he thing he was up a ladder actually. we had a fire <laughs> i'm going to zoom very forward so we were living out of our house for three months right hotels airbnb while the house was getting coming back together again mm -hmm. and covid had come on and we had to rush to get back into our, our home just um, on the night of lockdown. Yeah. Oh, and no. I was painting. A ceiling for yeah. the fifth time. Oh, like, <laughs> <was> like, <laughs> and it was it's not happy. This. <laughs> and it was 10 to 8 on the first clap to the NHS. Yeah. Oh. And I said, darling, darling, come down, let's grab some bins and we'll go and hit yeah, we're going the mad. NHS. And he said, what? What? <laughs> I said, no, come, come. And we live in a sort of amphitheatre in Hackney. Yeah. And it was just so moving wasn't it yeah. we got a lot to be thankful for because we've both been quite poorly with different things so i got a lot to thank the marsden for i like myself as well and so we just went out and we were so moved yeah and we thought we've got to do something more yeah so it's so it's so, genius so, so, so i said to bev gosh I, do you know what i want to drum for three days three days he said i said yeah. three days three Are days you sure about that and I'm three going, days what did okay. i mean yeah. i'm here i'll do it <laughs> <laughs> And I thought to myself, what have I really said to her? Three days, how can I sustain this? And we also didn't know anything about live streaming, so the technical thing was challenging. We got yeah. a couple of weeks to set up. We wanted to start at the beginning of April, yeah. but straight after a national clap again. And, and then I went, I, and then I, I said to Bev, I've got a friend of mine, you know, all music, and they do with, like, they've got a recording studio. And, they and we think they can help. Yeah, so I got in touch with all music, and they said, oh, We'd love we'll love to come give you a GoPro, board. we'll make and it work. Yeah, so they gave us all the bits of equipment and then we had to set it up for instructions, right? And then, then the whole thing just started to come alive. So at 10 to 9, he jumps on the kit ready to go. We haven't worked out any rules. We uh, don't know what's uh, going to happen. Ah, ah, let's want to take that. Let's want to take that. Um, <laughs> just before that, right, we, we, we um, went upstairs got the snare drum this is the second time we're giving oh, yeah. thanks to the nhs and this is where it all came together because i went and got my snare drum um on top of our balcony and i started to bang away well the na whole neighborhood came alive it was lovely and all People the neighbors dancing came on out. the balcony banging yeah. their frying pans there's a guy you know. there says bang <laughs> it was just so fun and great. that's when we said what else could we do for the nhs yeah. what can we do and we really started thinking yeah. and that was when you said all music 24 hours out. we'll get it together yeah and then it all stemmed from there and then at 10 to 9 on that that day yeah. you'd, you'd got all the imagination tracks it was a fantastic yeah. set and you're just gonna go round and round and round for 24 hours yeah and uh, we found we didn't have a mic so i had to crawl around on my hands and knees for 24 hours handwriting messages feeding him through massaging his legs and feet so i'm like this little elf on the ground <laughs> I didn't want any of the fans to know I was there, so yeah. I was hiding. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I mean, I, I, it, it was, it was absolutely extraordinary. I was right? so because, proud of him. Yeah. It was amazing. Because like, we, didn't, we didn't really plan anything. It was just like the idea came and we just hit the ground running with it. So as we're going along, all these ideas are coming along and how, how we get around about it. So, he on the second like a day, on he the second, like yeah, a rock star on the for second six day, hours, and his son rang and said, "Dad's going to pass out if you don't let him have a pee or a stop. <laughs> he can't keep going." So we didn't even realise you were allowed to stop. stop. 
Yeah. And he, but he did, just for yeah. a moment. And, yeah. So uh, that took like five, ten minutes. Five breaks. minutes. That's the Guinness Book of Records thing. We yeah. found out the yes. rules afterwards. Yeah. So we, 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 we kind of like did that. So on the second day, because I've been drubbing nonstop all through the night, I started getting the cramps, right? I'm saying, Bev, how am I going to sustain this, right? <laughs> I'm getting cramp in my leg, right? She says, don't worry. Like, just keep the top half of the song going, playing the drums and the hi-hat. And I'm there re relaxing And I went downstairs. Went downstairs. Bananas. Actually, bananas. They're the key. They're the key. Bananas are the key. Our kids are yeah. ringing in. It's bananas. a banana cake. So I, I'm no domestic <laughs> goddess. I'm not a Nigella. But I got down there and I have made banana cakes like you would not believe in. <laughs> and it helped. Yeah. It got rid of the cramp. So I was That's able great. to sustain to the end of the, the 24 hours actually he finished. did brilliantly and he just yeah. said am i meant to go for another day and I, no, no, you've done it and he raised seven over seven thousand pounds on his own which was fantastic That's incredible what an incredible achievement it was yeah. cool but then captain tom started walking around the garden yes. and we, yes. he's going, mm -hmm. yeah. and we yeah. said what we else can we do much have we we yeah. have to think of something else yeah. you know? So that then you, you know, asked all your fabulous drummer you know. friends, and I was obviously in the techno, so I asked a lot of my friends from drums and blah, yeah. blah. And we got a team that started with five over a weekend, then it extended to 10 days, 250 hours of drumming. Yeah. Wow. And of course, you know the amazing Mari who drummed from Aberdeen over yeah. the night? Yes. Yeah, and we, because the thing is, well, we, 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 had, um, uh, we had Meg and Mari then came along yes. and which was really good because when we were putting this together it'd be really great if we could have two girls in the whole thing we well as many girls as we could yeah. find yes. really. so, they so, were troopers and know. then Mari came on I mean um she was amazing she was incredible she, that really <laughs> gave us yeah. great incentive as well and the whole team became a very supportive team like a little family yeah you know through the 250 hours of drumming which is like 10 days yeah and it was incredible because we thought it would be a weekend of drumming but to go for 250 hours it was amazing That's a long time and every were drummer you were you still calling more at this time or were you just <laughs> were you down I was producing so I was like this is me yeah phones yeah all these things <laughs> It, it Keeping was, them all going through the night, yeah. you know, we didn't sleep for 20 days either because no. we're getting everybody going. And I mean, he was amazing yeah. getting all the technical stuff. Yeah. I mean, I mean, there was things, and we had two studios, got um, my, my friend at All Studio, and then we had another friend of mine, uh, which is Mel and Madison Grace, and they were kind of like really kind enough to say, look, we will have a day studio and a night studio just to keep the whole thing going on. So they donated all their time to do all this, right? Which is, you can imagine, they're, they're on a rotor day and night. But they, we also had to be really COVID friendly, like nobody could see each other and it was yeah. all. Yeah. So we had to get, for one of the studios, we had to get a loo, otherwise it would have meant the drummers would have been doing their business outside <laughs> with the goats in the open air. <laughs> this is, this is an <laughs> so we had to go to Gigloo and get, that was one of my big things, the producer, one of my hardest things was finding a toilet. <laughs> driving a giggler around and then and then here's the thing as well because of lockdown uh, as many drummers as, uh, as possible mm -hmm. that could drum from their home to then stream and then one had to organize all those different situations and the timings because there wasn't a moment when yeah. someone you know it's like it's wonderful stories of drummers that that drum before the war starts. You know, they're the stretcher bearers. They're always the ones that drum into the... And we were thinking COVID was like a war, really. It was a battlefield. And our NHS were doing this incredible job. Yeah. And it was amazing to think that our drummers drummed non-stop for 250 hours in support and raising money to the yeah. NHS. Wow. It, it, yeah. Honestly, guys, yeah. it's an incredible feat what you did. And as you say, you wrote, you raised so many thousands of pounds. And, and not only that, I think it was really acts of kindness there that you know got you all together and as you said, it was like a family. So yeah, that, must have, that must have really touched you, actually, the, the pair yeah. of you were organising yeah. it. Hugely, yeah. because we have Mel from Simple Minds nice. who used to help Errol on stage back in the back day. Back in the day of imagination. We had Guy from The Kooks, Alexis, and Paul Stewart from The Feeling, and Loz yeah. from Ride, and the fans from Loz. Yeah. You know, he's got a family of four children, a beautiful big dog, and his fantastic wife. But she couldn't go out and she still hasn't been out because yeah. she's not so good, so well. And they got fans from all over the world coming in and ringing in. And 
So yeah. personally for them, it yeah, was like being great. on tour. And, and honestly, for us, it just still brings up goosebumps yeah. for me. Because I mean, cause one of the, them. Yeah, because one of the things all the drummers were saying, right, because of the lockdown and all the work had gone away, and people, you know, all the musicians were saying, so what are we going to do now? So when the drummer phone came in, from the goodness of their heart, they thought, you know what, They're it'd amazing. be really great to focus and put our energies into this situation, right? And, you know, spiritually, they all had like an uplift. You know, they had a purpose. And, they all and gave so, so much because much. none of them knew. The great thing was because Errol had drummed for 24 hours, yes. it wasn't so hard for us to say, do you think you could do 12? <laughs> yes. he's twice my age so like, <laughs> and, uh, he's like it, but, you know and, and it was just like we can do 12 we've got to be able to do 12 and of course they hadn't done it before yeah no. so, so a lot of it's drummers were thinking just drumming for 12 ask. hours that's a long it time really it's that. a big task it really and you really um you stretch yourself mentally it really, really, you really have to call on, you know, divine help to help you to get through to that. But one of the most, one of the incredible things about this, we, we said to all the drummers, come with your own style of music, yeah? So then each drummer, they could be playing funk, jazz, rock. And so from, from the viewer's point of view, they it were getting so an amazing atten entertainment of, and finally seeing the drummer being up front. Being, that was unusual yeah. because usually the drummers are back, back in that the dark. Yeah. That's right. And so yeah. this is the drummer as the star. And we had one wonderful uh, follower. She's only about seven. But her mum said all the way through lockdown, she'd had so much trouble with her. But because of the drummer thon, she focused on the drums. And of course, this is amazing the, the sort of mental health and emotional yes. health. Yes. that drumming brings to people yeah. and it's just fantastic because she said it was the best babysitter she had all <laughs> the time during lockdown and she just kept playing it on the feet but one of the lovely things was that the drummathon did for us yeah. was to say thank you we had this wonderful Look at um, that that is incredible I, uh, really, who did that, that there because i know that you're an artist yeah it was a girl that, called sarah sutton she's an yeah. artist yeah. and i think we were going to mention that what we did one of the drummers had a symbol left over and we thought i used to work on the great antiques some back in the day you yes know? And uh, we thought, wouldn't it be great to have uh, an auction? An auction, yeah. Oh, so what an idea! All the drummers came up with wonderful ideas. In fact, we got loads of signed drumsticks, didn't we? Yeah. I'm trying to think. Well, I was going to show you some from. There you go. These are Nico. Oh, these are Nico McBrains. These are oh, left wow. over. Yeah. These are these these are ones we're going to put in next year's auction. Oh, that's great. Um, maybe, maybe for my maiden. Have a party, yeah. you know, because I mean, something like that for my maiden would would absolutely bring in lots of money. It would, um, and do you know what we did? It was funny because we, we got in touch with Paul Martin, who turned out to be a drummer yeah. and an auctioneer, and oh. he worked with BBC Flog It, yeah. and he's wonderful, isn't he? So he's genius. Yeah, so he came he to the, he, he found us the auctioneer as well, and, and the whole thing was sort of like Dawson's, orchestrated, yeah. Dawson's, and then everything was, uh, everybody went over to all studios, and the whole thing was set up there, yeah. and Everything was ran from there. And but it was funny, wasn't it? It was the, the, so funny. The thing he said was, Bev, whatever happens, Earl, he said, sign drumsticks are not great. The one thing we got from every drummer was sign drumsticks. <laughs> really? So, yeah. And he said, I tried to sell Nick Mason's a couple of months ago at an auction. I couldn't give them away. He said, so don't give me your... And I went, no, that's all we've got. Is <laughs> so we've got this wonderful drummer as well called Meg Learmont. Yeah. And she... So super talented. Yeah. She made yeah. this celebrity snare drum, and uh, I don't know if we've sent you pictures, but we will. Yeah. Yes, now there's two, two, because you had the drummer snare, snare, and then celebrity, and then snare. celebrity drummers yeah. sent in their sticks. Oh, yes. Yes. We had Larry Mullen, Will Champion from Coldplay. Yeah. You know, Jez Strobe from Kajagoogoo, yeah. obviously uh, Errol. Stroke and Nancy, Stroke Mark and Nancy. Richardson as well. Ian Matthews from Kasabian, Radio Plays, Phil yeah. Selway. So many, yeah. so many well, sticks. This, you know. These two snare drums, they're a one-off, you know. So the they're guy stunning. who actually, he actually bought both of them up. He has got something for history, right? Because you'll never be able to get that again. You know, with so many famous drummers donating. That's them. incredible. I mean, again, that calls for us to have a big party with a lovely auction, uh, you know, and let's do it properly. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we can do that in 2021. Yes. 
Wouldn't but, that be great? You know, it, it, Wouldn't it, it, that be such great? a strange year, hasn't it? And I mean, that what you've said there, it just sounded when I saw, you know, what you've been doing, you know, it was one of the reasons why I wanted to reach out to you because it's just such an amazing thing. And, and as you say, I can hear the passion and the excitement in your voice, but how wonderful for the drummers to come, as you say, to the front, because they're often the last, last person in the band that you think about, but a very important part of any band, of course. But it's just wonderful that you did that. And do you see that now doing, doing that every year perhaps could that be a regular thing well, we'd yeah. love to yeah we'd, we'd love, love to. to take it on and the drummers I, want to I mean, do it yeah well i mean because with this time we've been having talks about what's the next subject matter is going to be for the nhs what the and also because on on, on bev and myself we we we, we burnt out pretty we burnt much because we did seven and a half months non-stop stop, without sleep. day and night <laughs> and everything else really went by and all our projects went by we had to focus we funded it as well do you know what i mean so yeah. This year, and I, I watched my good wife with, with an energy like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I was, like, like, so, I was going up at four in the morning yeah. just to keep on top of it, you yeah. know. And we changed shifts dealing with all of this. So he comes to bed at one or two, yeah. finishes yeah. it off. I'd be in bed by midnight, and then up at four, and yeah. you know, he'd be up by six. So, oh, past six in it, the night almost. But, yeah. But we want to do it again. And we, we were so privileged. It, it was an honor yeah. and a joy we to do it. We so but. wanted to do it again. But I think, but we, this, think we need help. We're going to we, yeah, we're gonna reach <laughs> yes. out. For, we're talking <laughs> to all the guys and say, look, we really yeah. need to reach out and get some sponsors. And then we'll do it. And I think this, this time round, we want to do mental health yeah, for the NHS. Right? And reach out. Obviously, because of drum is very drumming is very therapeutic. Mm -hmm. And what it does, it, it engages left, all parts of the brain. Yeah, the, the left and the right hand brain so becomes using left engaged. arm, right arm, left yeah. foot, right foot, and the centre. You know, well, my thing, son's a drummer like yours, actually. Yes, yes, yes. My yes, son's a drummer as well. They're all <laughs> drummers. We've got all, all <laughs> drumming fans. Yeah, Bev, can I ask you, do you play the drums? I don't. No. I'm, a, I'm one of these mad singers that, of course, didn't realise. I mean, we always were waiting for the drummer to get their sound, and I loved our drummer and everything, but I think. Yeah. <laughs> and two days in the studio to get a drum sound but of course my son drums and sadly my other techno partner died when he was only six my our son and um drumming became the way he just i thought he can't hit me but he can hit sore spoons mm. he can hit and you know what he he became by 25 he's written songs fabulous songs fabulous yeah. music but he's a neuroscientist and he got a phd by 25 so yeah. I think it's got his brain. Right, yeah. yeah. That's what I want to say to mums and dads that are out there. It's so worth yeah. it, isn't it? As people it's all music. Yeah. Music just brings so much more than the, than just obviously listening to the music. As you say, it, yeah. it releases, you know, fantastic hormones in the brain. And in fact, doctors are now prescribing music therapy because of mental health and particularly because of COVID, because so many people, and particularly our young, you know, I think both of you have, have, have seen the news. We don't have, we don't have to be a rocket scientist to understand this has really affected our young as well as our elderly, of course. But, you know, we need to support our young because, you know, the future for them this year, you could really just write the year off for them so many of them yeah, were starting yeah. jobs so many of them perhaps were going to universities doing things for the first time that they weren't able to do because of the pandemic so it's wonderful to see that you've got the passion there to engage with people young and old because it helps all ages it, it's it's an all-rounder isn't it yeah. it's very interesting what you're saying because clem burke who's blondie's drummer who we absolutely yeah. love he donated yeah. so much to the auction he, i mean i love his drumming anyway yeah. i think he's amazing Amazing. It's my second favourite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's amazing. He's say that in the past, Errol, but don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> he's working with Chichester University um, on a research project to show yeah. that the brain function of drummers yeah. really just has so much from mental yeah. and physical health. And I think Mark from Scunts and Nancy, Mark Yeah, Richardson's he's part of it. He's part, part of, of it the too. research. Yeah. We, but they're just, doing some fantastic research. Yeah. Because one of the things is with drumming, just giving you some little headlines with this, right? As I'm saying about the right and the left hand brain, mm. but uh, it's repetitive because for, for a drummer to learn, there's things that we have to learn. We have to learn paradiddles, right? And paradiddles is a way of focusing. You have to learn these rudiments, yeah? Simple. And mummy, my daddy, daddy my mommy, daddy, daddy, and you know, things you know, like, like that. Like, like, you, yeah. you, you have to learn these things, so you, 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 you learn them and you repeat them, and you have to be repetitive. So you can be practicing one pattern for like half an hour focusing on playing back right and that's where the and, and you're doing things with the right and the left and switching left and that's how the brain 
the right and left side of the brain come together. And that's why, if you ever notice with drummers, they're all very calm. They are. They're Most all very calm. That's what I like when you ask me to, to like project my voice, because normally I speak very quietly. Yes. All the drummers I know are very calm and very humble. Because guess what? When they get on the kit, they're lions. Yeah, they're, tigers, they're, <laughs> I, they're a little bit like surfers, I think. You know, there's this yes. meditative spirit, like yes. surfers have. Yeah. You know, this beautiful soul yes. that holds yeah. the band or the music and the rhythm yeah. of our yeah. heartbeat. You know? exactly. It's like the heartbeat of the nation. Yeah. That's why I always. So, so can you see if we're going to do the NHS uh, Drumathon next year, you can see yes. why we want to do mental health. Yeah, we because might like I, to do mind yeah. or. Yeah, you know, yeah. something really helps, helps. Them, the, the young, young kid. and the mental health. Yeah. I think that's one of those Suzuki violin things. You yes, know, like, yes. And, and that's brilliant. I mean, my son, my, my nephew, Tom, is um, in the Mumford. He's a string violinist. He's fantastic. <laughs> but not all kids can do... Yes. A lot of them... They want to get rid of it. anger and... And it's so yeah. great for the mind. Yeah. Very and therapeutic. I remember when my son first started, you know, it was, it was his way of getting, it was particularly in his teenage years, it was his way of getting these frustrations out. You know, I used to say, how yeah. the hormones? And like he was saying, Bev, Animal, Muppets used to be the show that used to be, <laughs> you know, Animal, the drummer. And I used to often think that was my son, you know, because he used to be bashing the drums. Like, <laughs> need that now and unfortunately with the lockdown you know we've had all of that taken away because everything's gone virtual now virtual is wonderful i'm doing this interview with you um you know this evening and it, we're virtual and it's amazing and it's great that i can talk to you but i'm missing that stu you know that physical contact that real, yeah. that real, yeah. that real connection and it's the same with music you know that you can play yes of course you can play by yourself but when you're going to a studio or you're going to a lesson and you're having somebody there that's part of the music, isn't it? It's part of yeah. their therapy. You need to actually meet with people and, you know, Connection. just bonds. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so, we can't I, wait for live gigs to start again. Oh, I, mean, I was going to be... ask you that, actually. I was going to ask both of you that. How much are you missing live gigs? Oh, ver I mean, very much, very much. I mean, it, it's like, it's, it's, we're missing it like so much. Life, you don't, you don't even really it? want to talk about it because it's really upsetting. <laughs> I mean, yeah. just before the lockdown and all these things that we were saying earlier on that happened to us, right? I mean, I, uh, Bev had, because um, she, she's also a fine artist as well. Yeah, I'm a visual artist. Visual yeah. artist. So I had five yeah. exhibitions lined up all yeah. over the place. And then I had gigs in Italy and Canada as well. And because it, it all just went away. And my son is also in the music industry and he's like got one of the most amazing parts party of Party bands. So he, Brilliant. One of the best yeah. bands in the world for yeah. parties. And they, yeah. you know, like, um, they, you know when they do the Earth Summit every year? Yes, yes. And he does that show. I mean, wow. he's, he, yeah, but he does amazing shows all over the world, and his work has just gone yes. totally gone. And it's the same for us as well. So it, it, it is really, and it's also the, the mental and the playing and the connection with people with all these things have just gone. It's devastating. It really is. As a, as a musician, it's really devastating. And I think, and I that, think we've been hugely blessed because yeah. we put ourselves into a new project. We immediately. We, we had a situation where we were working on a project which we might talk to you about a bit later, yes. where we were just flying with it and we thought we got investment and blah, blah, blah. And then COVID hit. Yeah, the we did. We, did have a, we had an investor. Yeah. And, and then, then bang, off. it's gone. And, and so the music thing went, that went and everything. And we, we didn't even think about it for eight yeah. months. We just put ourselves into the drama yeah. and thought. It's no wonder really so many people are, are really suffering with mental health, which is why I think it's a wonderful yeah. idea for you to do something with mental health. And I would happily be involved with you with that because I just think. Oh, we love that. Amazing. Essential, you know, it really is. It's something that's not going to go away. This We've had this dreadful pandemic. Pandemic. we are slowly coming out of it now please um, but you know we've got the vaccines once we start but I mean that's going to take a good few months you know it's not going to be until spring next year before things start getting back to you know the new normal but we, we need things like this what you're discussing because I think we all just need we'll need some kind of help if you like even the most positive person you know I'm a very positive yeah. person myself and you clearly are both of you but you know when you say it affects your music it affected your business sometimes you just take so many hits you think oh my gosh you know what's happening and covid unfortunately has done that to so many people yeah, yeah. it I, I, has I, I, it has well I mean uh, I mean gosh we were doing let me just think we, we're doing quantum 
we had that's we, the drum tune. Yeah, the drum tune. Yeah, we, 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 we had a track. This venture, isn't it? So let's talk about that now. So this is something that you're thinking about what you're doing in the future, but you'd already started it, of course, pre-COVID, and uh, and now what's the situation with now? Talk to me about it. What is it? Just a quickie before Errol starts, because he's the inventor and he knows yes. everything about quantum. <laughs> Just to say that not only is he a legendary drummer for more than 40 years but he's also been an engineer so he's got the two minds the scientific Fantastic. another drummer with you know more things yeah, going. that's it and uh, so he'll tell you more about it but you know it's a fantastic idea he created about yeah you know, in actual fact i was doing back. a show at the o2 with the three degrees and um we, we i just the, my drum tech says oh we've, i've got a problem here we can't tr we can't tune that drum probably it's because of the environment and there was a problem there so the engineers going, we, we need to do the sound check. The 3Ds are coming on next. We're going, everything's in a big panic. So but what they did is, oh, let's stick some gaffer tape over there. And I, uh, to me, that's like <laughs> aliens, <laughs> you know? So that happened just to please, just to get the sound right. But yeah. then it was the same thing that was happening to uh, the three degrees. So I, I sat down and was looking at them, um, stressing over this situation. And I thought, my goodness something has to be done we can't just carry on like this so um i you know i i then took it upon myself to to somehow resolve this situation but it's taken me quite a while to be able to to actually do that which i have done and um over lots of tests other different types of prototypes to get to where we are now so i'm right now that's why when Bev says coming down the lockdown just squashed everything because we, we were just about to launch it, you yeah. know, we were just about ready to go. Yeah. You know what? It's been amazing because yeah. we we we've I mean that it's ready to go. We've got the prototypes. It's going to be ready for manufacturing with a good wind and and some yeah, I mean, it should come out next yeah. summer. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah, because of the COVID as well. I mean, we were going to manufacture in China, China. but we now switched to we want it to be a British project. So uh, designer and manufacturer is going to be is in their own wells, and we've now got the manufactured. Uh, we're now moving on to the manufactured prototype, which is your testing uh, material. So you you right. make them, um, and then you have to test them, and then you then you then in a position to start manufacturing. And what's so great what like. is we've had some fantastic drummer reaction. From yeah, I was going to ask you that actually, Bev. You know, what's been the reaction to it? Have you have you put it out yeah. there to drummers? Well, it's amazing. There's, there's a guy in particular who's in one of our videos called Gary Wallace, and he's Tom Jones' drummer, but he drummed with Niles Rogers' sheet back in the day. You know, he's, he's awesome. He's drummed with everyone, Mike and Mechanics. He also goes out on the road with 300 drums. So imagine what that's like. Wow. He's drummed techie. Yes. Really this. Yeah. And he loves it. So he's going out on tour next year with Tom Jones, and the Quantum's going to go out with him. Yeah. Um, and then he's lots of drummers. Yeah, we've yeah. got Paul, uh, uh, Paul Stewart from Feeling. Uh, wow. So we've done, we've done quite a few videos with these drummers yeah. who are totally believe that they can't wait for it to come up because it's such a gear changer for drummers. It just takes the pain away. This tuner is the only tuner that can recall a sound. So you find your sweet spot. Doom, 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 doom. I mean, there's no tune on the planet that can actually, I've found this sweet spot. I'm going to rechange all the drum heads. Can I bring this sound back again? The quantum tuner can do all these sort of things. You right? see, what happens with drums, because I'm, I'm a naive, I'm just a street person. I'm, just, I'm in the music industry, but I had no yeah. idea about this sweet spot, what drum yeah. sounds like, and tuning, and really, you know. <laughs> but you can imagine, whereas a guitarist has got four strings, or if it's bass, or six, if it's all, you know, a drummer has sometimes nine tension rods on the top nine on the bottom and he mm -hmm. might have a bank of ten, 10 drums or six drums or four drums but he's got to get that all sounding good every time his kit moves from a studio to a gig yeah. to home to a different environment with a different and so if he's got this thing that can help him within 15 minutes he can tune his whole kit to the same sound in dark conditions so it, it is quite an exciting, yeah. it's a big... It sounds thing. like a very, you know, it's a unique, and as you say, Errol, is there anything like it on the market at the moment? No, there's nothing. You can go and look on the internet, there's nothing like it. So, uh, for instance, if you went to quantumtuner.com, you can see all the little videos, clips that we make, because we've only just started to reveal it to the public. Yes. Uh, that this, uh, uh, the quantum is sort of like, it's out there. There's something now out there that can... Um, allow drummer to be creative, being so you know. The you know, thing is, it is Christmas Eve, yeah. and 
I think I can hear the reindeers. I think I can hear. I think our presence on the tree, definitely next year, it's going to be the quantum tree. <laughs> And you know, it's so wonderful for you to share that with me because obviously you haven't spoken about it before. So it's wonderful that you're sharing it with me on my show because first. other people will hear about it. And, and for me personally, it's certainly got me intrigued. But I can imagine, Errol, the amount of work for both yeah. of you that went into I mean, you've made it sound incredibly simple, but I should imagine the amount of hard work that you've had to put in to get yeah, it yeah. where you are even at this stage. Yeah. And it's wonderful that you've given it to other drummers to try because... As you know, that's going to be that's the test, isn't it? Really, does it yeah, actually? It really work? is. That, um, it's all very well producing something, making something new, but the bottom line is, does it actually work? And if yeah. it does work, like you say, then you know it's going to be a huge success for you. And is it something that, L for you, because you obviously came up the concept. Did you think about it? How, how did it come about? Did you just get frustrated one one night or something when you were doing a gig and you thought, oh, I, I wish... Yeah, it, was that, it was that gig that we, when we were doing was that, that the Pope degrees, 2, yeah. back in 2010 yeah. with, the, with the three degrees. That's when the whole thing came about. And so I was actually driving down to Spain because my daughter lived in Spain. So I was just driving and I, it was on my mind. And by the time I got there, right, I resolved it. I actually came up with the principle oh. of how it should work. And then from there... You've got the principle, but mechanically and everything, you've now got to make this thing work, yeah. You know? right. And so that's been the journey. Of, and it's got a wonderful you know, design team that yeah. worked with it, a really great well, designer in Wales. And, and, exactly. and we've got a fantastic yeah. bubble here of the Tom and Stephen. With Tom and Stephen have got a great finance yeah. guy, Stephen Taylor, yeah. and a fantastic guy, Tom, who is Brian, who's just brilliant at marketing all our social media and Instagram and yeah. Twitter, and you know, and, and it's I'm, really. Yeah, and, and that's been one of the thing with, with, with the reasons why, you know, pushing everything forward. Everything is about having the right team uh, to be able to make things move forward. I mean, uh, just to let you know as well, because you asked the question, so what, so what one of the things that make the quantum different? Well, it's the only tuner that can tune um, timbales, aguegos, John Bass drums, banjo. Uh, it can even turn up the cymbal stands and all. It's an all-purpose tool for, a drummer, for the drummer or and percussion, right? So if you go and have a look at the internet, um, there isn't any drum tuner that can make claim to all the things that I've just said. You know, That's really incredible, Aaron. I mean, that as I say, taking you a lot of work, but I mean, you are as as your wife Evers just said. You know, you are a legend in your own right. You've been drumming for how many years now? About 40 odd years. 40 years. Yeah. Montego Bay, you know, in Jamaica. Yes, that's right, in Jamaica, yes. I mean, and, and you've, you've worked with so many incredible artists, um, right. haven't you? And, yeah. and do, you feel, do you feel that the drum drummers in themselves have changed? I mean, you, sp you spoke about Mari and, you know, and the female drummers that are coming in now into the bands, which is great. Um, do you feel that drumming's changed in the way that we, we, we perceive drummers now? Yeah, I think drummers that... I think that the, certainly the information that drummers get now uh, has moved up because you've got some young drummers now, honestly, and they're incredible. They're amazing. Oh, I'm like blown. I said, where are, you, where, are you, where are you getting all this knowledge from? But yeah. it's from us and listening to the, and also the recordings are a lot more clearer. So you yeah. can actually hear and you've got the visual of YouTube. You can grab all this information for drummers and how tutoring is. Uh, when I first started, you didn't have all this bank of information. Mm -hmm. I had to go and join the Boys Brigade, the Air Training Corps, to learn military drumming. It's, I love uniforms, you know? actually. So, well, yeah. <laughs> it's that. a man <laughs> But back to the girls as well. Yeah. You know, Sharice well, Osnay. Yeah. We're yes. going to talk yes. about her. Yeah. You know, she's Legendary. phenomenal. She's yeah. just great. Yeah. Like, Sheenery. And there's another one we love, Emily Dolan Davis. Yeah. She's just yeah. adorable. Yeah. And fantastic players. Yeah. I mean, unlike Mari and yeah. Meg Liam. Yes. Yeah. Some great I, I, drummers. I and there's like, actually a girl whose name I can't remember. It's Brandy. She's yeah. nine, and wow. she's been doing she lives jewels. In she yeah. lives around the corner in Ipswich, and she's been doing jewels with the legends. Hasn't yeah, she? yeah. Wow. She she's a nine-year-old, yeah. and she's. That's incredible. And, and do you know what I love? I love it that they, they've got opportunities like this now. I mean, we go yeah. on about the, but the, there's some bad things to social media, as we know, because they're young and totally glued to social media all the time. But these are the good things about social media, you know, because they do, as you say, they, they feel that they're capable. There's no, they take more chances than perhaps. Yeah. You know, certainly yeah. 
there's no way in a million years when I was younger that if I'd have said to anybody, I'm, I want to be a drummer, I would have just been laughed at, to be quite frank, you know, because <laughs> I was a female and it was a man's world. Whereas yeah. nowadays, I think, and I think it's, it's wonderful that it, it certainly has, you know, as a woman, we, we, we've kind of opened up and we could do anything. We could do anything. And I love that. For, again, particularly. It is true. Yeah. That's such a change from the 70s yes. when we, you know, in the 80s. Yeah, it's a very different environment. And, 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 and just to uh, let you know as well, one of the things with drummers, drummers like to learn, like to learn and play drums. Well, one of the things drummers ain't doing is tuning drums. Yeah, yes. that's what, one of the reasons why the problem is really good because it just yes. takes, it makes life easier. It allows them, to, you know, to be creative. So, so it lets them be more playful. playful. They can actually get on with the playing yeah. and not yes. stress about the tuning. I think you're on with the tuning. That's right. Yeah. You know, I know I've just come back up, but it's such an important factor because the point is when you've got your drums sounding great, you play great. You go, you, yeah, it's all about true. sound, it's what you hear that inspires you. Mm -hmm. And so, if you can, you know, most kids when they buy drums, um, they it sounds great when they buy it in the shop and they take it yes. on and it for a little while, and then it sounds like a bag of nails. So, what does one want to throw it away? I can't <laughs> <do> it. <laughs> you know, but, one of the, you know, and some of the young drummers is that new education that comes in. Such amazing, are they, I love the talent. The male and female drummers that are coming up are absolutely incredible. It is really. and interesting what you said though, because you know, I remember when um, my son, for instance, was starting to play the drums. You know, he used to twiddle around with this key and it used to, he used to get very frustrated and actually put young people off, couldn't it? From because yeah. They, they would get so frustrated, especially because it, it doesn't sound what, it, it, you know, it sounded like in the shop when this guy was playing it. I was like, <laughs> it sounds nothing like this at all. So if they've got a machine or, so, you know, something like your quantum tuner who can, which can make it sound as it should, that's yeah. going to give them more confidence, isn't it, for them to carry yeah. on with the instrument. And mums and grannies can help as well, and dads, you know, yeah. because it, it yeah. helps you to help your kid yeah. get the sound right. So they're yes. not alone everyone can work it. Yeah, I mean, I'm going back on that, but one of the good things about this, because kids now are very much with their phones, yes. uh, you know, it's that phone well. So with the quantum, you've got the, you've got the hardware, you've got the software. So you've got the, 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 app. the app talking together with, with, the, with, the, with the quantum. That's so you've got great. the quantum app yeah. and also the quantum. So for kids, this is like such an easy thing for them to sort of like get into, you know? Yeah. But you know, I've been thinking it's Christmas Eve now. And yeah. here we are, really, really excited about drumming, which yes, we are. I know, I yes. it's not wrong. Come, they told me, per and per and per 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 <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about you because you're, you're an artist, aren't you? So you, I, I've seen some of your work and it is very, very good. In fact, you designed the cover, didn't you, for Errol's latest single, which remind me of the title of that single. It's called One in a Million. And um, we came together on that because um, I was doing some really massive roles of Japanese art. It was on Japanese paper, which I gessoed. And then I was doing long rolls of mono prints. And um, actually, my son and I ended up in the Venice Biennale a couple of years ago as well. In 2015. So that was amazing. We went to Venice with your music yeah. and then yeah. Venice with our film and art, which was great. But the one in a million track, which is really quite unusual for him because he's rapping. Um, it was this whole thing of, you know, something that we really wanted to take out to the community again for the knife crime that was going on, because that was very much before COVID. In of course, yes, yeah. absolutely. That was what we were focusing yes. on. And we were saying, look, your lives are so precious, you're yeah. one in a million. Yeah. And in a way, that's what my artwork's about. It's about every individual mark, every individual person being so precious. And, yeah. and I suppose if there's a message this Christmas that matters to us, yeah. it's saying to everyone, you are so, so precious. precious. You are just a one-off. Yeah. That's so lovely and Errol it's a very it's a very big step away from what you normally do I mean I've heard the song I like it um I find it it's a very inspirational song as you say you can really relate to it lots of people will relate to it in different ways yeah, and yeah, I, and I, but it was a it's a very do you find did, was it purposely did you do that purposely because it's more of a it's got a rappy edge to it hasn't it almost yeah, because you're, you're talking through it did, was that on purpose is that how you wanted it to yeah. be but yeah, because I mean, um, what happened, um, um, I kind of wrote this with two other friends of mine, which is uh, Robbie Taylor and, um, and Chero. 
Um, and um, Chera plays in my band as a percussion player, and Ro uh, Robbie Taylor was original MD of Imagination. And so uh, we've been working together for years. So we put this Fantastic track together, addition. and we just lay, it was, it was done in sort of like 2010 ish, and it's just sort of like just left it there for a moment yeah. until, you know, with. with we uh, found each other again yeah. after 34 years. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and he still got this track. Yeah, and yes, I think it really yeah. worked well with your art, you know. Yeah. And so that's how the whole thing came because, as Beth said, it was about trying to connect people and value people. And, and, and obviously, as you said, the lyrics kind of really moved towards that. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad that you resonate to, to the lyrics because mm -hmm. you really have to listen to the goodness and, and what it's promoting, you know. Yes, there's a lot of positivity. Lots of positivity in, in the song. And that's out now, isn't it? People can, people can download that, of course, now. Yeah, you, you can actually get it, but we want to re-release it uh, um, next year. Post-vaccine. Post-vaccine. Post but if you went to the yeah. website, you know, you go on, on, online, you know. Um, yeah, you can I see choose, it. You can actually see and it. And in fact, with my artwork in the video, we filmed it in a fantastic place with Linda Bracey at yeah. the... Um, Neon place in one. Oh, yeah, I was wondering where that was going to be one of my questions actually. Where did you film it? Because it was great, great set. Oh, yeah. Amazing. She's got the best neon place. And for yeah. the moment, I just can't remember the name of what it's called. Yeah. called yeah. Anyway, but it's a it's a fantastic set. In fact, we're going to play the video, so the viewers are going to be able to see the video, so oh. they, they can see. It. Well, Linda Bracey usually does all the, the the decorations at Selfridges and everything with all her neon. She's off the wall, and her family they are just so generous, and they invited us for the day to use it as a set. They loved what we were doing so much. Yeah. So, and the dancers in it, um, yes. uh, from Bally Rum Bear, Rosie oh, and her yeah. friend, got yeah. them together. And, and they, they were working with my I like all the well, things that's going on with <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, there's a lot of movement going on there. You're just, yeah. you're just being super cool, Errol. Can I just say oh, something? Oh, cool. super I'm so cool. Cool. <laughs> I know. Oh, I'm super cool. Oh, I'm just trying. <laughs> You've got, you've got obviously the quantum tuna. There's so much going on. You know, COVID is clearly, in, in, in some ways actually, COVID is, it has been good to you because I know you've had some disappointments, but it, it's made you perhaps reflect on what you have got and maybe giving you more purpose for what you want to do in the future. Would you say that's quite a fair statement? Yeah, absolutely right, Monica. You're, you're absolutely yeah, right. You're right. That, that, you know, we feel, we feel blessed with that because, as I said, a lot of things fell by the way of all yeah. the music and that. And we could have got really down about the whole thing. But we didn't. We just said, actually, we've yeah. got our health, we've yeah. got each other, yeah. we've got our families, we've got so much to be thankful for. Yeah. For every day we have, we're thankful. And if we could do something good for somebody else, which is yeah. obviously what we try to do yeah. and bring people together, and it's going to bring some joy and positivity, then if the sort of things are how we want to move forward in the future, uh, with all the things that we, we have, and we feel blessed with that. Yeah, you know? we do. Well, so guys, it's been an absolute pleasure to speak to you. I must admit, we, we could speak all night, but we are going to play out with your video. You. So, oh, look at that. It's a present. I love it. I love it. You know, all I can say is you know, thank you so much for spending Christmas Eve with me. And it's been so lovely to speak to you both. And I wish you both the best of Christmases. And God bless you both. Thank you so much for joining me. Monica, and to you. you You're well. amazing. We wish you a blessed year. Bless, bless time. Thank oh, well, you so much. Have a lovely time. And guys, we'll catch up with each other again in the new year. Yes. Wonderful. Thank Merry you. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>